Hey guys, welcome to the finale of the Derby Karima. This is going to be the season four finale, not the entire series fin uh, finishing. I'm probably going to just do it till the end of FIFA now because there's only, I think there's not many days left now. So um, not many episodes left of this series, maybe one more season after this. So we're going to play these four games to end off this season against Cardiff, Sunderland, QPR, and of course the final of the Europa League against Manchester United. We are going to win at least one trophy this season and maybe even two if we're lucky so at the moment in the Premier League we are two points behind Chelsea if they lose one game and we win all ours then we are the winners it's as simple as that so let's go and see if we can do that so here are the lineups for today's game David Marshall in goal, Peter Park, Catherine, right back Morrison, Ben Turner, Fabio it's not the strongest of teams that like. is probably around the 70 mark and our team's probably 75 plus so we have made a few changes that could potentially weaken it quite a bit but We've got a lot of big games coming up and um, I want to try and use as much of the squad possible till the end of the season. So we've gone for Gabamin and Van Aken at the centre-back position, Darmain and Aurier at the full-back positions, Taliso, Hughes, Goretzka, Ince, Ings and Wyman. I was going to play Hoffman but then I looked at the front three. There wasn't like that burst of pace that I think we need with uh, Danny Ings. And you're not. Danny, Danny, Danny Ings, come on. Yes, son. He's just... A wonderful play. He didn't really do anything. It seems like before the 60th minute, he doesn't really do anything. But after the 60th minute, he does all of his damage. And um, as long as we win the game, I'm not too bothered. But that's a wonderful strike to curl it around the goalkeeper with a bit of power as well. That's his 15th goal of the season. It seems like since the end of January, he's just been banging them in every single game, whether it's the cup or the league. Go on, Jürgensen. There we go. He, he is a lovely target man, especially with uh, Mings on the left back position now. It's um, quite nice for Kira and Mings, that combination. But Darmain, he does well on the left, but crossing it in that style, it, it doesn't do that. He literally has to cut in and do a inside swinger, which I do quite like the inside swinger to a fullback. But yeah, that's 12th goal of the season. He, had, he did go injured for about a month, I think. And. Um, we did really struggle when he was out, so it's nice to see him come back now. Come on, Fakir. Get me a third, because the goal difference is uh, quite an important factor. And there we go. In his own net, maybe Goretzka would have got it anyway, so um, not much of an issue. I think it's the new substitution straight off the bench scores a known goal, so that's not going to be good for his... Oh, no, it's not. It's Morrison. Um, but, yeah, 3-0. Goal difference-wise, um, I think there was only three goals difference for Chelsea, so... Say, for example, they have lost this game, we could be top. So, let's go and see after this game. There we go, full-time whistle. Great uh, three points for us there. And the goal difference, we definitely need to be scoring at least three goals a game because if Chelsea draw a game and we win, then I think we'll be level on points. So, obviously, we need to uh, be able to get them points. Still two points between us and Chelsea. It may not happen. It may never go down to it but Man United are only three points behind us so we definitely need to keep on winning if we are going to keep that second um, spot because I think you get more money depending on where you finish obviously so the next game is against Sunderland but then two days later we have got Man United now do we rest up the team for the big game and then obviously play our big team again for the QPR game just completely kill them doesn't matter if they get injured because they got all that time to heal and yeah I think I think I will do that because Sunderland I'll have a quick look where they are in the table I think it says there anyway doesn't it no not um, where are they just below the uh, just above the relegation zone Stoke and uh, West Ham going down that's quite interesting because West Ham they got quite a few of our former players they did really well against us as well in the last episode but they did uh, lose in the end I think and um, yeah I think we'll go into that game with a bit of a weaker team. So here's the lineups for today's games. Dixon in goal, which is a bit weird. Keogh and Blar at the back. Be uh, ben Jones, I think. Van Aanholt, we're looking at left back. Jeff Hendrick as well, another, another former Derby County player. Wickham and Martinelli up front. Rodwell, quite a strong midfield with, um, what's his name? Catamol in there as well. So be interested to see how we do against our former players. Sessi Wancambo, Gabamin, Van Aken, Mings, Taliso, Hughes. Wyman, Ings on the right, Hoffman in the middle, and Lingott on the left. We've basically rested up everyone because I want a full fit first team lineup for that big game. It's a bit of a shame we did sell Jeff Hendrick, to be fairly honest, but with the money we got um, from him, we spent half 
on Deli Ali, who was he was okay. Then we got Sissoko. So without selling Jeff, we wouldn't have got Sissoko. So I think that was a good move in the end. Ron Vlaar, I think he's like 70 rated now. So he's not as good as he used to be. So that's um, definitely a, a benefit of this game that uh, a few of the older players will be quite low rated. Juan Hoffman. Here we go. No, oh, he's missed it. But he's given a penalty. No way. I thought that was nothing. I was like, oh, they've got a goal kick now. But we've got a penalty. Wow. Maybe, but nothing amazing in there. But have we got a good penalty taker? That's the thing. I'm not, I'm not too sure. We're going to have to quick, quickly have a look. Because the last time I took a penalty on career mode, it just booted it over the top. So, 74. Yeah, I've got to give it to Wyman. I'm going to go to the right. There we go. Great goal. Come on. Nice to see Wyman get a goal as well. He doesn't... I don't know. I feel maybe playing him into two-striker formation with Danny Ings. That could be quite beneficial for us. But I don't want to change formation. So, I think maybe next season in the cup that could be an option. But for now, I'm just going to keep to the 4-3-3. And um, that is his seventh goal of the season. I think that's his first penalty, to be fair. Like, he hasn't just taken penalties and got seven goals. I think about three, maybe four... Maybe two, actually, were just at Aston Villa. Um, I could have probably just put, like, reserve players on, but uh, clever old Luke didn't decide to do that. So, we'll, we'll just bring on you, can It's only, like, a few minutes left of the game now, so it won't drop them by too much for the uh, important game. And uh, Jeff Hendricks just got off. That's a good ball. That's a goal. Straight... It's so annoying when I do that. I make a sub and they score straight away from it. I just don't understand that mechanic in the game. It's like the slide tackle shot, which always goes in. And, um, yeah, now it's 1-1. So we need to get the three points. That's definitely what we need to do. So maybe bringing those players on, they'll get us a goal. We'll have to see. Oh, and that's full time. God damn it. That is, that's pretty much it. We, we have dropped the points now. Man United have won, they've probably gone above us, we've probably dropped down to third, Chelsea have won as well, so, yeah, I just don't see how, I don't think it's even possible now, so, let's have a quick look, yep, Chelsea win the Premier League, oh, that's annoying, but, as long as we win the Euro League, then I'm more than happy, so, it comes down to this now, so the news is actually Euro League certain for Man United, so, um, maybe they're not expecting us to win, I don't know, but let's go into the final now. Taliso's happy that he's been playing a few more games. He did play the last two on the bounce, so it's good at least that we played some of the other players just to keep him happy and keep him at the club for the next season when they are in the cup. So, come on, let's go into this game against Man United. And then I might just sim the last game against QPR. I'll see what the uh, points are looking like. So, yeah, we've got a full fitness lineup. There is ints with a, like, a minuscule amount, and uh, um, you can, so... Um, it is a real shame that uh, Callas got injured right at the end. I don't know if I can actually... Nah, I, I don't think you can when he's got an ambulance on him. Um, so yeah, I think think that's all we've got to do, really. I don't think there's anything else needed. And um, let's see what the Man United lineup's like. So into the Euro League final we go. It is in France, I believe. It looks like a French team stadium anyway. It's probably like the French international one. So throughout this tournament, we have gone through Schalke, we've gone through PSV, we've gone through Sport in Lisbon. Can we go through against Man United? That is the thing. And then we're winning that uh, lovely trophy there. So I really want us to win this. Like, that would be what this series needs to end off. But there are some big, big players at Man United. I think they've got Griezmann. I could be wrong there, so let's see their lineups for today's game. Handanovic in goal, Raphael and Smalling, uh, Luke Shaw, Johnny Evans, um, I've said him already, Raphael, um, Kadira, Fellaini, Mata, Di Maria, Rooney and Hernandez. So that is a very good attacking and defending midfield. So going to be quite tough. I think out wide that's where we'll benefit. And um, we have got Ince and Fakir with the four-star skills. Sissoko with his absolutely brutal power runs that go through any defence. And... Um, Figueroa and uh, Ron McAnally at defence so it isn't the strongest team because Callas is out injured 
but we're just going to have to deal with it and see if we can beat Man United. I think we beat them um, 4-2, maybe at the start of the season. I do remember Bamford actually scoring that game, so um, you never know. Oh, come on, Jurgensen. Pace it past Smalling. Come on. Here we go. I know. There we go. Come on, 20th minute penalty. My God, the pressure on this man. Smalling with the yellow as well. Could potentially be in a red. He was last man. But, um, yeah, we've got a great opportunity here to potentially get a penalty. I think Sissoko has got the penalty, uh, best penalties at the moment. Uh, 68, which isn't anything amazing. But we're just going to have to do it anyway and see if he can score. Handanovic with the save, but it's gone in anyway. Really, really lucky. And... Um, that's something we do need to kind of look into, getting a really good set-piece taker for the next season. I'm not too sure where he'd go, but um, I'm sure we'll find a place for him. No! What? Like, why has that gone in? Come on. Fucking Sillison. He's been fantastic all season. Then he does that. I don't know if my player deflected it, maybe. But... Come on. You can't be doing that. Let's just watch this back. Fernandez just crosses the ball in. Maybe Darmain, like with the header at the near post, flicked it over. I'm not too sure. Let's just watch this back in slow mo. I don't know. I just. I feel like. This game is just against me, so that's really frustrating. Oh, come on, Torrance. Cut inside. Here we go. There we go. 2 1 straight away. Fuck you, United. You're not scoring against us anymore in this game. We're going to win. And, um, yeah, I'm like Johnny Evans just went. And then massive space behind him. If he just stuck like two steps backwards, then that goal would be prevented. But nevertheless, uh, we're in the lead now. That's all good. Here we go. Come on, Thomas Ince. Come on. That's a good ball. Come on, Jurgensen. There we go. 3 1. We've put ourselves in a very, very good place. But anything could happen in football. They could score two goals just like that. And um, yeah, I, d I don't want to do anything silly you can see that they just weren't defending nicely because Kadira was the man marking the striker not the centre half but maybe there's a tactic they've introduced I'm not too sure that's his sixth goal in the Euro League since uh, January that's not bad at all for us because yeah I'm just really happy I'm gonna make one substitution now just to just to slow in up the time a little bit and I think I'm just gonna bring on Danny Ings on the I'm gonna bring him on the right because he does quite nicely when you do that and um I think I might just bring on a centre half at CDM because I am going to be putting it on like ultra defensive now just for the last few minutes and um, I feel like Van Aken's height could do quite nicely. Yeah. No. Oh no, you see, they've scored in the 90th minute and um, now they're just going to throw everything at me and that's for added time now so there's not too much longer but... Yeah, it was a little bit frustrating seeing that. There we go. Full time. Boom. We've won it. Thank God for that. So that ending was just so like, ooh, I'm going to lose. But um, we've, we've won. We've won against Manchester United, which is phenomenal when you think about it. Because um, our team, we've probably got 80, 82, 79s and stuff like that. They've got 85s, 86s, 87s. And... Um, for us to win that, that is phenomenal. And that is a fantastic way to end off this season because I feel without a, a trophy, it, it just wouldn't have been the same. It would have been a little bit, oh, we've, we've ended the season now. But we've really banged it out and um, that will give us a little bit of money that as well. So it also guarantees us um, the Champions League position. I'm not too sure if it does it like real life, how it knocks out somebody, but we're already in the top four, so it doesn't really make a difference anyway. So... Musa Sissoko, the man who's literally just drive this team forwards, is going to lift the trophy for us. There we go. Won it. Thank God for that. There's me, apparently, I think. I'm not too sure if that is me or not. The guy who gave him the trophy. Maybe that's just the trophy giver. But, um, yeah, I'm really glad we won that. And um, 
I'm not too sure if I'm going to play the final game of the season against QPR. Maybe I'll just do it for the sake of it. And um, I don't think it will change the position now. I might just sim it though. So great for us to win a to uh, trophy. And um, there are the lovely fireworks. And I think for next season, I'm going to look to potentially... I don't know. Winning the Champions League is ridiculously hard. And I think with the team that we have, it is going to be very difficult. But I'm just going to go out in every single game and try and win it. And um, that's how I should do it. Leave some comments down below on who you want me to sign as well. That's always good to know. Edgar Ayi coming against his former club for the final game of the season against QPR. Now, I don't know if I should play a bit of a weaker team, but it's the final game. So I may as well just play a strong team anyway and get the result that I need. So, yeah, I think we'll just do that and go into the game. Going into the QPR lineup for today's game, Murphy in goal, who's an 85 rate of player. Engels and Corker at centre back, Traore and Harriman at full back. Andrade and Diakite, Kiyote third, Greg Cox and um, Emenike up front. So, very strong team. They have actually got Edgar Ayi on the bench. So, it shows they spent 2 million for literally just a backup player. So, let's go into the game and smash QPR to bits. Oh, shh. Nah, no. fuck off, QPR. <laughs> I had to pause the game quickly just to do something. And, um, not too sure who scored that in the end. I think it was Emenike. Yeah, it was m &EK, 14th goal this season. Go on. There we go, Thomas Ince, great goal. It's really annoying that he hasn't grown in ratings, because he's been so fantastic this season. He's probably got about 13, 12 goals now for us, and, um, yeah, like, just don't understand how he's still the same rating. Go on. There we go, 2-1, just before our time. Great goal from UCAN. Nice build-up play as well, and like we just held it nicely on the edge of the box for a bit, and then um, just went through the hole. Nice ball, nice turn, and uh, nice little finesse shot in the near post. No. Oh, we've scored again. 2-2. Two -two. Really annoying goal as well. Like, defensively, I don't know where my defence has gone. It's been really solid all season, then just disappears this game. That's the full time we saw there. 2-2. Two -two. Not the best result against QPR in the end, but... It's really annoying that they have a glitch goalkeeper. Like their goalkeeper is up to an 85, and um, it's just stupid. Like, why? Why is that a thing on the game? Man United drew with Hull, so that means we do keep our second position, which is quite lucky. Chelsea didn't drop a point till the end of the season, so it wouldn't have mattered even if we did win every single game. So, I think second is a very comfortable position, and um, with a European Cup, it's it's not an easy thing, and. Um, to be able to do it in four seasons from a team that's like 70s, 60s, all the way up to like 70s and 80s, that's absolutely fantastic for us. So here we go, let's end off the season now. We've uh, had an amazing season, It was uh, target was to qualify for the Euro League, and um, yeah, we've qualified for the Champions Cup, so obviously we won the Euro League as well, so they're happy with that, and um, yeah, generally we've had a very successful season, and um, I think this episode was really good to end off this series. A bit of a shame we couldn't win every game, but it wouldn't have mattered every game anyway because Chelsea were just too good and um, yeah, they won every single game and I couldn't really do much about that. So even during this episode, I'm going to have this, this series now. So um, yeah, we could smash over 25 likes for the finale of season four. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Subscribe to the channel and see you soon.